Rachel Holt for Nesson.com here with Hall of Famer Aeneas Williams. Thanks for being here. Glad to be here, Rachel. Thanks for having me. You so kindly lent me some bling to wear. Uh -huh. Tell me a little bit about this ring of excellence. Well, the Pro Football, Pro Football Hall of Fame is partnered with Kay Jewelers, and Kay really did a great job of going through all the detail, all the minutia to cause this ring a couple of years ago. I was inducted in 2014, and uh, the president, uh, David Baker, decided he really wanted something that would be emblematic of just that Hall of Fame career. And the older guys who had already had their rings, he wanted them to have something that would be a conversation starter. And I think Kay Jewelers have done a wonderful job of a conversation started because Rachel you're probably gonna have some questions when people see you with that huge ring. Oh I'm, I'm not taking this off I hope that's okay. <laughs> it's fine. We had Marcus Allen here yesterday he showed us his ring he sang us a little jingle he has a great singing voice how does Correct. yours compare? I may not compare as as well as but we have competition so it'll get better and better. I've heard about Marcus they've been bragging about him in other places I've been so I don't know if I'll top him but I at least will be somewhere in the room with him. Okay, I don't want to sing, so we won't let you sing here. Well, let's talk about football, mm -hmm. something you're a little better at, I'm sure. You played cornerback. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about Malcolm Butler for the Patriots. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a guy who's been phenomenal, obviously the star of Super Bowl 49. Mm -hmm. He'll try again to be a standout guy in Super Bowl 51, but he has a tall task ahead of him of defending a big guy like Julio Jones in this Falcons offense. What have you seen from a guy like Butler mm -hmm. and the Patriots secondary this season? Well, initially, unique uh, connection having with Malcolm Butler. Malcolm was was mentored by a guy who mentored me. So understanding that Malcolm's ability to compete and understand uh, the nuances of the game, it's going to be a very good matchup, but it'd be a team concept in order to stop Julio. But I love how he's developed this game all the way back. Everybody remembers the interception in the Super Bowl. But since then, this guy has gone to the Pro Bowl each year, and he's been matched up against the opposing team best receiver. And Malcolm had what I had, even though he's not as tall as some of the other guys, he's strong. And I had unusual strength when it came down to bigger receivers. So it'll be, he'll have help periodically with a safety. But the thing that I love about his game, he's, he competes and he's a smart player. On the other side of that, the Patriots don't really have a star guy like Julio Jones mm -hmm. in the receiving core. So how do you defend them if you're the Falcons? Well, it goes back, you, you, you said they don't, they don't really have a star. My... The way the thought that come to me about the Patriots and it just came to me, all of them are stars. They just some some of, some of them shine brighter. With the New England Patriots, they will morph into anything they need to morph into to collectively win a game. If that means against the Seattle Seahawks, throw the ball 50 times in the Super Bowl, that's what they're going to do. If that means against the St. Louis Rams, Tom Brady's first Super Bowl win, run the ball 41 times, that's what they're going to do. And that's what I've noticed about Bill Belichick. He has all three phases of the game, everyone subjecting their egos to the greater good of the team goal, what's required to win this game. And I don't think it'll be any different. Certainly Atlanta has done a phenomenal job, may end up being a close game, but at the end of the day, the New England Patriots will probably find a way to win the game. Okay, bold prediction there. And you're the New, we're the New England Sports Network, obviously, so I hope <laughs> you're not just saying that. Not at all, I've been saying it the entire time. I've seen this movie before. The two lost six Super Bowls, you're talking about the best coach of modern, uh, the modern era of football. But he's the best who will never believe that hype, never let anyone tell that to him and he agree with it. Because he's working as if he's a, he just got the job. And fortunately, his quarterback is the same way. And when you have guys at those positions that stay on top of their game and demand excellence out the entire team and each other, that's what makes for a dynasty. And the only games they've lost in the Super Bowl was finally against Tom Coughlin, who was cut from the same cloth with the Giants. Both of them were parcel guys, so they knew how to tactically go against each other. It was just a matter of who had the ball last that was going to determine the outcome of those games. Okay, well, you mentioned our guy Tom Brady earlier. If you had to describe him in one word, what would it be? Describing Tom in one word, very difficult. Putting you on the spot. No, uh, diligence. Diligence. The diligence. The, by far, the attention to details. The, the, the willingness to constantly want to get better every year, even if it's just scrambling, wanting to run faster so he can be a better scrambler like a Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I would say diligence. Well, he's going for his fifth ring. I don't know if it's as good as this one because I like this one a lot, but you heard it here. He's going to win it. 
I, I, I do think he's going to win the game. I know it's being a New England station. I'm not playing up to the station. And I want it to be a great game. That's what's important in the Super Bowl. But seeing and having played against this team and studied this organization, I'll, I'll be surprised if they don't find a way to do something different and do something that the Falcons have not seen that will create some turnovers, possibly with Matty Ice throwing the ball. I think either way, we're in for a good one February 5th. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it.